Taking a quick look at the total zone ozone generation system. This is model TZ-2. This is the first one we've ever had like this in the shop before. Recently, it's a new arrival. And again, this is model TZ-2. So it's an ozone generator. What is an ozone generator, you might ask? Well, as you can see on the logo there, on the zone, on the O there, it's got a superscript three, and that is because ozone is comprised of three oxygen molecules put together. And that's what ozone is. Now, what is it good for? So this one is really more intended for commercial use. And this is something that generates ozone. And it can be used to purge odors, you know, maybe in a restaurant where you've got food or maybe in a club where there's, there's cigarette fumes lingering, uh, could be even, used in a, in a house where maybe you've got mold or some kind of musty smell. And so think of it almost like uh, if you've got a pool and you shock the pool with chlorine, you're treating the pool, killing all the bacteria, all the grime, using that chlorine to shock the pool all at once. And it's kind of similar with this ozone generator. You're shocking the air, so to speak. You're injecting ozone into the air and it just kind of purges and neutralizes those offensive odors. So it's a pretty interesting device here. Now you'll notice on top they've got a warning message here. It talks about how this device really should only be operated in unoccupied areas because ozone concentrations above, as you can see there, 0 0.04 parts per million can be classified as an irritant to uh, people's respiratory system. So typically when you use a system like this, you want the building or the space to be unoccupied. So pretty interesting device. It's got a real simple on off switch there and basically just a, a mechanical timer. So when you turn it to the one, it'll run for one hour and then shut off. So you can go all the way up to 12 hours and you can even uh, put it on the hold function there and let it run indefinitely. And then basically it's just got a fan right up here in the front. And then behind it on the back is an intake. And that's where the air comes in. And then of course it generates the ozone in the casing right there and just kind of blows it right on through there. And it's just regular 120 volt power. You can see a two amp is what it requires there. But yeah, it's a pretty interesting device. Real simple metal enclosure. And then a little indicator light here lets you know when it's on. Of course, you can't mistake it because it does make a little bit of noise. And I'll turn it on here in just a little bit to give you a preview. Again, you're not supposed to operate these with people, occupants in the building, but I will just demo it real quick so you can get a little idea here. So you just plug it into a regular 120 volt outlet and then you just take this little dial here and go ahead and twist it. And then I'm gonna turn it off shortly after. So you can see now it's on. I can feel a little bit of a blower blowing some of that ozone out there. We'll go ahead and turn it off there. And uh, if you've never smelled ozone before, it's got a very distinct smell. It's probably the best way to describe it would be after a rain shower or a thunderstorm, you go outside and it just has that fresh air smell outside. That's about the best way to describe what ozone does. But it really, it uh, can really clean up a, a building inside that has a musty smell to it or, or an offensive odor, it can really just freshen things up. And so this would be a device that you use just to shock periodically and just purge all those offensive odors. So really neat piece here. Now, if you've got something like this that you own, uh, maybe something that's a little out of the ordinary and you're just trying to figure out what to do with it, how to get rid of it, well, definitely check us out. I'll include links in the description below. We make offers on just about anything over $100 in value that's easy to ship. So even things that are a little oddball like this ozone generator. So definitely reach out to us and the worst that'll happen is we'll tell you we'll pass on it, but the best case scenario is we'll make an offer on it and, and strike a deal. So be sure to check us out. Thanks for watching.